man. Having one of those days, man, it's crazy. Anyway, welcome to the HN vlog right now. Today we're gonna talk about how you structure, uh, or you know, what kind of business uh, structure do you have? Is it a B2B? Is it a B2C? And uh, what's the main difference that I've learned and some of the challenges both of them have, uh, especially for the African continent? And which model, I believe, require the less capital uh, because I think models you know matters but it even matters more in Africa so check it out so I'm not gonna spend uh, too much time on the what is B2B or B2C, guys? Go on Google. Google has a better definition than I have, but just to summarize, B2B is business to business, B2C, business to customer. There's a lot of uh, subset to that. B2C uh, to B, B2G, name it. But uh, the key point is uh, which one is best and which one uh, would you choose from there? Now guys, um, I don't know how much you guys know about A-Red, check out you know, the website, but um, basically we're a technology company. So when we started A-Red, we started as a B2C cost, I mean, uh, business uh, strategy. And uh, the reason was very simple, we had to build a business case, we had to test that uh, technology uh, had the need, adjust, change. For anybody who does uh, hardware, software uh, development knows that, uh, you know, the time it takes for, for, for developing, testing the, 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 the technology, testing the business model and all those things, takes a long time. For us, it took over five years and we're still doing some testing on new verticals we build. But, um, but yes, we started a B2C uh, company. So basically you have to understand your customer, you, ha you have to understand what works, what doesn't work. You know, it's pretty much the testing phase. But what we found out was B2C is actually extremely challenging because you, you bring in a new, a new solution to customer. And customer, and that's anywhere, I, I truly believe anywhere, but African customer, uh, it, 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 takes it takes time for customers to change habits. It does. You have to pretty much build an infrastructure, build an educational plan to educate your customer what advantages uh, your new services are bringing. Um, so the educational part, as I said, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you have to, you know, show them how to adopt uh, the new processes, if any, or the new products you're bringing on, etc., etc., etc. It's very expensive. It takes time. And in a lot of cases, um, if you're unable to raise enough capital to make that happen, because a lot of time when you have a B2C business model or business structure, um, it's a business of volume, right? So especially in Africa, your margins usually are very small, so you have to build volume. And all that takes time. You know, I, I remember they were talking about mobile money. Now mobile money. It's popular, it's growing very fast, but let's not forget that mobile money has been in existing for the last 15 years, you know. So in the beginning, it, you know, there was trust issues, people didn't trust, uh, didn't understand where money on your phone. So it didn't just happen automatically. I love when people say, well, mobile money, you know, uh, if you have a, a great solution, people will adopt automatically. Bullshit. Uh, that's a lie, especially if you're if your uh, market segment is low income, they're very skeptical in anything that is new. Um, they're very skeptical uh, when it comes to, you know, especially money, technology, because they don't understand it, they don't know it. So you have to have, it takes time, it takes a process. I remember reading about M-Pesa, how it, they, they had a goal of uh, having a million Asian in a year, and they, they spent 10 to $15 million just to make that happen. So it's very expensive. And B2C takes a long time, it takes a lot of money. 
So we shifted. We shifted from a B to C. It's actually B to C to B, just to be specific, but not to create confusion uh, because we have a franchise, micro franchise business model. But let, let, let's, for the, for the sake of this vlog, let's keep it uh, simple. Uh, so our B2C, we shifted to a B2B. Now B2B is less expensive. Uh, instead of you building the, the, the structure, the infrastructure, the, the network, you use other businesses' network. Uh, a lot of time is telecos, banks. So when you bring a, a solution, instead of trying to acquire new customers, you work with um, businesses that already have a customer base and want to adopt your, your, your solution to the existing network. It's cheaper, you move much faster. Now, there's also challenges, don't get me wrong. A lot of time, uh, companies can just develop that technology and replace you, it happens a lot. Um, I remember, I, I won't mention the name of the company, but there's a company that do credit services for for um, airtime credit for customers um, and um, very lucrative very great business they use telecom networks to provide that credit but in some cases telecos just cancel the contract and develop their own solution and um, so you lose that you know you you can lose big but still it's much cheaper it's fast <coughs> sorry it's faster to to scale uh, and you get result much much quicker now in Africa B2G it's if I mean B2B it's even more um, I, I would promote B2B even more because of how fragmented the market is so if you have a model of mobile money I keep on a mobile money example if you have um, mobile money uh, strategy in Rwanda and in Uganda will be a different strategy, in Kenya will be a different strategy, etc, etc, etc. But you still have to build that whole network, adoption, etc, training and all that stuff. Um, so it's it's a fragmented market that make it very, very challenging for Africa. But B2B, it's much easier. Uh, and that's a model I really believe that for Africa, it's the, definitely the model to focus on. Because now, you don't have to um, trying to build that customer base. All you have to find is, is, is businesses that already serve the customer you're trying to serve and try to plug in your solution. Sounds very simple, straightforward. Um, and then you just have to negotiate a revenue sharing structure with that company. It minimizes the investment that you're not, you have to put down. Uh, and you scale up much, much quicker in Africa. So B2B, if, if you have a technology company, B2B is definitely a model or a structure I will highly, highly recommend. For anybody that is struggling on raising money, for anybody that is struggling on scaling outside the country of operation, B2B facilitate a lot of that aspect. And um, I'll do another vlog to, to, to talk a little bit about how to protect your assets, your technology, and minimize the chances of in, being copied. But let's be clear, anyone can copy you. You know, I love when investor comes and talk to you and say, well, who does what you're doing? You know, who's your competitors? Oh yeah, but you already have, to, what's unique about your product? It doesn't have to be the technology itself. Maybe some of the functions that you offer, maybe it's your customer service uh, that you provide. Maybe it's the fees that are cheaper. So don't just look at the technology. But if, uh, if an investor tells you that, oh, because you have a competitor or competitors, uh, they want, they're looking for something unique. Uh, and my favorite question uh, that I have from investors, well, you know, how can you protect your technology from being copied? Listen, when I hear that, I, ju I just stay quiet and run as hell because that shows either ignorance because there's no technology, none. That cannot be copied. Number two, uh, uh, the, 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 the fact that you can't be copied, that doesn't mean that you can be beat. You know, there's a lot of layers to this. But anyway, that's besides the point. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But check it out. Look at that business model. Study it well. 
but that's the best way, man, if, you, if you're struggling for, for resources. Peace.